Today we have a pretty important announcement. Don't let the buzzwords bite. Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with another vlog today. And this is about buzzwords. And we did a similar video uh, uh, a while ago about the, the overuse of the words nature and simple. And there was all these catchy phrases for various organic foods out there. And we found it pretty funny um, that they use these kind of words and they, they, they almost replicate themselves to the point where you can't even tell the difference anymore between m multiple brands. They all have the same word in them. But this, um, this vlog is about the buzzwords and, and they seem to be making themselves pretty obvious uh, uh, lately. And remember back in the day there was, there was something, I guess it was a big deal when uh, products were preservative free. I guess they use like embalming fluid or something, some really bad preservatives. And w which is odd because for any shelf stable product, and I, and I forget what these uh, preservative free products were, but the people, um, any shelf stable product typically has some sort of preservative in it or a very short shelf life. I mean vacuum sealing helps to some degree but things spoil and you need to have some sort of way of uh, extending the shelf life if you want to eat that junk. Um, but there's other, a whole lot of other buzzwords that everybody, I guess these days people don't think very critically because it, I think all you need is to put these buzzwords on a box. I mean, I can put something on a box like sustainable, uh, organic, uh, plant-based, and uh, free, free of this, and it could just be a box of air, and someone will buy it probably because I have those magic buzzwords on it. And like I said, sustainable. Oh, this box was pr printed with re recycled ink and, and uh, plant-based. That's the biggest thing now. It seems like. The, the two word, the hyphenated word, plant-based, seems to just win a lot of people over. They think that it's harmless uh, when you think about it, but I mean, heck, poison ivy is plant-based. Uh, opium is plant-based. There's a lot of things that are plant-based, but anyway, I can go on and on. Um, and another buzz phrase that is printed on a lot of products is, oh, we donate a proceed, a portion of our proceeds to charity. Um, and that seems to make a lot of people feel good and they, they buy into it uh, without thinking. And that's kind of a shame. When you, when you see everybody and their brother donating to charity, doesn't that make, raise some flags? You're like, why are all these companies donating to charity? Because they feel they have to, not because they want to. They'll make you believe they want to, but they, they have to because no, none of this new uh, uh, you know, group of customers is going to uh, buy from anybody. Let me, let me and there's a million others like farm to table, grass fed, free range, uncured, nitrate free. And then there's uh, this other group of companies and I think they just start these companies just so they can get sales. It could be some sort of blighted social group and I don't really want to mention any of them but it could be um, I'll make one up uh, the mosquito lovers anonymous uh, uh, own minority owned uh, whatever uh, company that owns this and and that somehow people maybe people feel guilty and, and buy it because it's some own but in the end there's secret silent investors everywhere and it doesn't really matter somebody's getting paid uh, a lot of times here and oh, of course earth friendly and whatever. But most of this stuff with all these happy feel good buzzwords on them is and are still packaged food. You don't see much of it going on these days on a pack of meat. I mean they, they do on the organic meat it says free range and this and that. And it's usually two or three or four times more expensive and I'll be honest uh, a lot of times it doesn't taste better and I've, I've talked to some farmer friends of mine and they, there is definitely um, a different taste to to like local beef but you're not going to find that in your supermarket you really have to head down to the farm to get the meat that they butcher for you there and it definitely I've had some and it definitely tastes different it's an acquired taste it tastes it probably takes a while to uh, get used to it after eating you know regular shop right ground beef for a long time but it comes at a price and it's not easy to get 
and a lot of times it's it's frozen and not fresh. I mean, I personally like eating the fresh meat better, even though I don't know what's in it. Um, and that's it. I just think the buzzwords are way too prevalent, and and you shouldn't really think about it. Stop reading the box. That's why I wish everything went back to no frills, just meat and juice. I even know we don't drink juice. Uh, coffee. Instead of all this, this marketing that goes into it, and I think people put too much emphasis on these words, which, ironically, a lot of times people uh, are get, uh, get caught, you know, they get busted uh, for, for lying about it. And it, it happens pretty, a little too frequently, and it, they probably get away with it a lot more often than uh, people um, find out about. So that's it. Don't let the buzzwords bite. Keep it simple. Eat your meat and not worry about the, how, the, all this other crap. Please subscribe, have a, hit the bell, and have a nice day.